going to look at intersecting circles. So I've got here two circles, a um, little circle with radius r, little r, and a big circle with radius big r. Okay. The other measurement we're interested in is the distance between their centres. So the distance between their centres is that distance there, and we can find it using Pythagoras. So we've got the distance between the two x coordinates, oops, squared, and the distance between the y coordinates of the centres, squared, and then square root. Okay, right. So using those, uh, this d and those two radii to help us, we're going to think about the relationship between those values and also whether the circles are intersecting or not. Okay. Right, so let's start with looking at when we have one point of intersection. Let's look first of all where the circles are outside of each other. So we have an external tangent, and you may remember that will be perpendicular to the line joining the two centres, um, the radii. Okay, so here you can see that the distance between the circle centres is exactly equal to the little radius plus the big radius. Okay, so that's a nice measure that we can use to help us um, see what's going on. Okay, just going to give it a bit of colour so it's easier to see what's going on. Okay, now if instead we have got um, the little circle inside the big circle, then the distance between the centres here, okay, plus the little radius will big give us the big radius. Okay, I could rearrange that to make d the subject. So if I do that, I've got d is equal to big radius minus little radius. Okay, so that's another useful measure that's going to help us figure out what's going on um, in different situations. So we've got the sum of the two radii and we've got the difference between the two radii. Okay. Let's first of all look if the two circles are further apart, so there will be no points of intersection, the circles are outside each other, and then hopefully you can easily see that the distance between the centres of the circles is greater than the sum of the two radii. Okay, so the distance between the two se um, centres is greater than the sum of the two radii. Okay. The situation we just looked at, when they were touching, there was one point of intersection. Okay, and the same with that one. All right. Now, let's have a look at if we allow the circles to intersect. Okay, so if we allow the circles to intersect, let's move this up so you can hopefully see a bit better. Okay, then we've got two points of intersection here and here. And now we've squashed them together a bit, so the distance between the two circles is less than the sum of the two radii. Okay. However, it's going to be more than the difference of the two radii. Okay. So if we think about doing the distance between, between the um, two centres of the circles and add on... Okay the little radius, okay, we're going to get more than the big radius. Okay, so we've got the distance plus the little radius is going to be bigger than the big radius. Yeah, you can see that distance plus the little radius is bigger than the big radius. And so I could rearrange that to get D is greater than R minus R. So we can combine all of those to give us that in this situation where the circles are intersecting, the um, distance has to be between the difference between the radii and the sum of the radii. Okay, right. So now let's go a bit further. We're now going to squash the little circle. So it was just inside before, touching with one point of intersection. If we move that circle a bit, so there are now no points of intersection, but the little circle is inside the big circle, okay, then hopefully we can see that the distance between the two centres 
plus the little radius will be less than the big radius, or the distance is less than the big radius minus the little radius. Okay? And then finally, if we allow that distance to head towards zero, we get concentric circles. Okay, so this situation here is between 0 and r minus r for the one up there, but in this case we've got the distance is equal to um, the distance is equal to 0. That's called concentric circles. So we can decide what picture matches our situation by considering the distance between the centers of the circles and the sum or the difference between the radii. But I would do some sketches. I wouldn't advise attempting to memorise um, what's going on. I would try and sketch what's going on instead.